Hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, my name is Nidozi, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom player statues in vanilla Minecraft 1.16.2. Basically what I mean by that is an armor stand that looks like a player, but is not actually. Some practical uses for this would be maybe pranking your friends with a statue of Herobrine? You choose. It can be anything you want. So all the links to the websites that I'm going to be on in this video are going to be in the description below, so let's get started. Okay, so first up here we have a website called Nova Skin. This is my personal favorite website for finding Minecraft skins. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is download the actual skin file of the player that we want. So in the search bar over here, I'm just going to instead type in Herobrine. This should work. Go past all the fan fiction and you finally find the actual hero brand skin. I'm just going to go up here to this little button here that says save. And now we have this file. This is basically just if you want to name the file or anything like that. I'm not even sure where that description is saved. But yeah, we're just going to hit the save button here. So now that we've hit that button, we can literally just hit this download button up here. I personally use Firefox, but if you're using Google Chrome, then a link down at the bottom of the screen will come up and it'll ask you if you would like to keep or discard the image file, make sure that you say keep or else it won't work. For Internet Explorer, honestly, all you need to do is not use Internet Explorer and then you should be good. So here I'm just gonna hit OK in Firefox and it's gonna get downloaded right up here. The next website that we wanna be at and the second link in the description is a Curse Forge link that takes you to a vanilla 1.16.2 resource pack. So here, I'm just going to hit the download button right here. Make sure that you're in the files tab. And it says your download will begin in that amount of seconds, downloading now. And then you see it comes up the same thing. Again, for if you're using Google Chrome, a, the little bar down here will appear and you're going to have to say keep, not discard. Make sure you say keep. And again, Internet Explorer, just stop using Internet Explorer. So I'm going to hit OK here. And now, as you can see, those are both going to download here. Now this third and final link we're going to come back to later, but for now I'm just going to minimize this tab, and here you can see I have my .minecraft folder open in my files. So to navigate to this, all we need to do is hold down the Windows key and the R key, and it'll bring up this run thing. All you need to do is type in percent app data percent. Here we have all of our program files. So uh, it'll probably be towards the top because Minecraft puts a little dot in front of it. But we want to click on our dot Minecraft folder just like that. Double click on that. And now we're brought to this whole thing. This is basically all of your Minecraft stuff. So like you have all your options. You have all your different world files. Things like that. But, we're, but what we're focused on is this resource packs folder. Here you can see that we have the exact same folder here. Except this is just a shortcut. Maximize this tab real quick and however you want to do it if you're using Firefox you'd probably just want to bring the window out like this click on your downloads thing and then drag the resource pack template into here or if you're using Google Chrome you want to do the same thing except except you drag and drop it from right here the second thing that we want to drag into here is this char.png which is the file that we saved from NovaSkin and now we should be all set so here we have our zip file for resource pack template all we want to do is right click on that I don't think that you need to have any kind of special programs for extracting regularly in Windows, but if you have 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever you want, all you need to do is just extract it however you want to. I'm going to select the destination like this, hit extract. Now, do be warned, Minecraft resource pack files are quite large, so this is definitely going to take a little bit, even with computers with good hardware and things like that. So. Just wait for this to get done. You have to remember this is processing every single texture file in Minecraft, so it's definitely going to take a little bit. So just wait a bit, and eventually it'll be done. I'll be back when it is. Okay, and as you can see now, it just finished. So it should bring up this little pop-up of what of whatever was in the window, but because we want to be in a different directory, we're just going to exit out of that and stay in here. So we can delete this zip file now. It doesn't really matter to us anymore. So now that we're in here, all we want to do is double-click on Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Models, Armor, and then as you can see here, we have all of the armor files in the whole game saved here. I think that you can probably infer where this is going right about now. You can edit whatever armor layer you want, but just for ease of use, I'm going to edit the iron layer. So here we just have this PNG here. So now that we've gathered all these, all you want to do is open up your favorite image editing software. It can be Photoshop, it can be GIMP, it can be basically whatever you want that can handle transparent files. So basically what I mean by that is something that can use files where it can have nothing in the background. So you couldn't use something like paint or other things like that because 
in paint, you can't have any transparency. So today I'm going to be using GIMP. It's a very easy, free, open source program to use. And yeah, it's just super easy. I love it. It's what I personally use. So what I'm going to do is drag GIMP to the side here. And I'm just going to take the iron layer, the, this iron layer one, and drag and drop it in to GIMP, just like that. So I'm going to bring that up here. And now I'm going to zoom in here. And as you can see, we have basically the entire iron layer. So now I'm just going to make a new layer just for ease of use again. Drag this to the side for a second and I'm going to go back to the resource packs folder and now our char.png is going to come into play. So I'm going to bring GIMP back over here and I'm going to click on the char.png and I'm just going to drag it in here just like that. Now as you can see it's on top and actually I can just delete this new layer. I didn't realize that it would just be right up there. But now that we have this char.png, we can drag this down and sort of line it up in the right place. So if you're looking, you can see that we really just need to line it up right here, just like that. And that, that's essentially how you do it because you can see here is the head. The head matches up with that top spot. The bottom matches up there. Obviously, an iron helmet doesn't have a bottom. Um, all the legs match up there. The arms match up here. And now, we don't really need to worry about those because that's just the other layer. Uh, everything should be fine as it is here. So I can just drag this in here. And now, that's sort of all we need to do. Now that we've done that, I'm just going to take this and merge it down. And then I'm just going to export this as the iron layer. So now this is a really important step. We need to remember to export this as exactly what it was named before. So remember it's called iron layer 1.png, which thankfully GIMP just adds in for us. And I'm just going to hit export. It's going to prompt and say, are you sure that you want to replace it? And I'm just going to say yes. And I'm going to hit export. And just like that, we can see that it has now been replaced with a hero brand skin. So I'm just going to drag this up here and we can close out of GIMP permanently. We can just discard the changes there since it doesn't really matter. And now before we finish up, I just want to show you one real quick thing. We Now, we can name this resource pack whatever we want. So you see how we have pack.mc meta? Well, we have our pack description here and we can essentially name, put whatever we want here as the description. So I'm just going to put in hero brine pack. Just like that. I'm going to uh, do control and S to save that and I can just exit out of there. And now you might be asking, wait, how do we rename it? Well, it's as simple as renaming the file folder itself. So I'm just going to hit rename there and I'm just going to call it Hero Brian Pack. Just like that. And so it's very important to remember here that this can really be anything you want. It doesn't have to be Hero Brian. It can be any player you want. So before we get back into Minecraft, just again, make sure that this file is in your resource packs folder and we should be good. All right, guys, so now we are back in Minecraft and the first thing that we need to do is apply the resource pack. So I'm going to hit escape, go to options, resource packs, and then here you can see that we have our hero brand pack. So I'm going to hit over there and I'm going to hit done. And it's going to take a bit to load. Give it some time. It is a new pack. And there it goes. So I'm just going to hit done here. And as you can see on the surface, nothing really changed. But as you can see, I'm going to grab an armor stand here and the iron armor set. Just take the, all of those out and place this down. Oh, there's his legs. Oh, okay. I guess that didn't really change. Oh, oh, there's Hero Brian. Um, as you can see, his head is a little bit thick, though. I don't really like that. And honestly, I planned on that happening. And so now this is what that final link is for. This is a custom Minecraft heads, uh, whatever you want to call it, a website. So here where it says search head, again, this will be the third link in the description. And after that, I'm going to link in GIMP because I love it. Uh, but here, I'm just going to type in Herobrine. Hit enter. And now we have all these different Herobrine heads. Get past all the weird fan fiction and we get to a real hero brine head so i'm just gonna take this and we see we have the 1.16 new uh, new stuff and i'm just gonna hit this copy button here that'll copy it. now i'm gonna go back into minecraft and i'm just going to type in a command to give ourselves a command block so i'm gonna type in slash give i'm just gonna type in ne and then tab and then i'm gonna type in co i'm gonna type a space and then i'm gonna type in c 
O M M and then hit the tab key and that'll autocorrect a command block and then hit enter. And now we have a command block. I'm just going to place that down and I'm going to paste that in by holding down control and V at the same time. Then I'm going to hit always active, then done. And as you can see, we have this hero brand head in our inventory and when we place it down, yeah, looks pretty good. I really don't like how the arms are so thick, but unfortunately there isn't really a good way to get around that currently because if you look at an actual piece of Minecraft armor, you can see, oops, I should probably grab diamond for that instead of the actual armor piece. You can see that if we have an actual armor piece on, it overlaps over a typical Minecraft skin. You can see how there's like about a pixel or like three quarters of a pixel that goes over my actual skin. So it has to be thicker for it to actually look nice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it does have to look like this. But hey, on short notice, like I did over there, this works great. And it's honestly hilarious. Again, I'm going to show this from a previous video. If I hit this button, we have Herobrine during the game. But like on short notice, if you just make this guy appear in front of your friends, jeez, it's Herobrine. Like, it's honestly kind of funny. But anyway, guys, I actually really like that trick. And I hope that you did too. And if you did, remember, please do consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. I love doing gaming videos. And I love showing off these cool little command block and technical things. So I hope that you guys like this and I'll see you in the next one.